Okay, so welcome to this uh, first episode of Let's Get Critical with my uh, my good friend Julian Bailey. Julian, how are you? I'm alright. I'm great. Love in this quarantine. Yeah, it's great. Um, isn't it? Like what? I possibly legit. I do thing. actually love it. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't really like going outside. So um, I'm a very indoor person. It can be overrated. Although uh, yeah. speaking of going outside, I think almost all our photographs today are outside. So. So much for that. Yep, yeah, I have to go outside to take photos, <laughs> unfortunately. I know, which is why I have not taken photos for a while and it's really getting to me. So this seemed like a, an excuse to at least do something uh, photographic yeah. related. And also keep people's skills sharp, show some people new photographers they may not be aware about and just have a chat about like photography in general. Try to learn from each other because I am now yeah. I am now an internet celebrity man. So it's, I, have a, <laughs> I have a responsibility <laughs> To yeah, the masses, um, to to help them forward on their photographic uh, journey, like the. I actually tried. Um, I am. <laughs> I actually try. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> um, so I've still got because I'm studying right now. Mm. I'm doing. I'm doing a degree in photography. Oh, I've heard it. Um, and I've taken like fuck all photos. <laughs> um, I've still got dead. I've still got a deadline. Um, for I think it's the twenty first of May. So it's like shit. I need to try and do some photos. And I'm trying to do some like, spooky photos now because I kind of said, oh, I'm going to do this and that. I'm okay. going to do like kind of something a bit creepy, yeah. which got cut short because, you know, quarantine or booing yeah. me. But um, I was like, I can do some of this in the house by yeah. myself. And I tried to take some photos, and, like, right, just to clarify, in the bathroom, there's like kind of stained glass yeah. between the, the bath and the toilet. So I was like, cool, we're going to do some creepy photos of this. Yeah. I was, I got, I waited till everyone was in bed at uh, two in the morning went into the bathroom, set up a tripod, one of the legs didn't work, uh, wouldn't fasten, so I had to prop up with some stuff and try to do some photos in the dark, and I've never wasted so much time in my life for something that was not working. <laughs> well, you uh, haven't done this yes. yet, so you might, you might change your mind on that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Uh, okay, so let's not let's not waste everybody else's time then. Yeah, let's talk about good stuff. Let's talk about the photos. Uh, in fact, just forward up very quickly, we, we know each other from taking photos of sweaty shouting people in uh, Glasgow's music scene but you now yeah. don't do that as much because you've got an ounce of sense unlike me I've ascended you've, yeah. asc- you've ascended into the realm of portrait <laughs> photography so let's take a look at this first yeah. uh, this first portrait I do wanky cor- fashion portrait stuff now. you do so speaking of wanky fashion portraits here's your first shot uh, tell, us, tell us a wee bit of the shot of uh, Freya because it's, it's Freya, pretty cool so man this, I'm, I'm into it this is from London Fashion Week uh, 2018 mm-hmm. I think it would have been um, the second London because I think London Fashion Week they do it twice a year this one was in like the August or October time whichever one it was um, yeah this was this was I went down for London Fashion Week me and my girlfriend um, because my dad knew someone that could get his tickets for events because that person was working it and was someone relatively high up um, who it's not that I'm not going to name them, it's that I can't remember their name. And I wouldn't do it anyway because I wouldn't get myself in trouble. Um, so yeah, we went down because we're like, okay, we can actually shoot, um, get into see some shows, shoot some stuff. Um, first show we tried to get into, they just told us no. Yeah. And they were like, you're not this person. Um, who the fuck are you? Uh, no, you can't get in. I'm like, oh, shit. So we went to the Strand, which is kind of like, I feel like it's the hub yeah. where um, lots of events are going on because it's, it's all scattered around London. Or like a, a, a specific bit, yeah. like Somerset House, but, um, and yeah, the Strand is where most people were kind of doing walk arounds. You know, uh, even if you weren't in, like you know, a model in Fashion Week, people would be like dressing up and going by to get their picture taken. Um, so like bloggers and stuff. So this was outside the Strand. Um, it was. So I'm a very anxious photographer. Mm-hmm. Um, as in, I don't like to like when I was shooting gigs, didn't like to push in front of people. Um, just even though like my job my job was to take photos of the band I'm like oh people are in the front row I can't I don't want to be the guy for some reason I'm like I'm a professional this is what I do for a living I'm like but I don't want to be the guy pushing with a camera yeah. Um, but luckily uh, being London Fashion Week other people are like there's all the photographers are like vultures um, and they're all like looking for people and then they're asking them to stop and take pictures and the person will stop and pose while like a wall of photographers take photos so I just like kind of sneak in behind them uh, and try and get like a kind of candid looking shot yeah um because i'm not as much I, i'll do like direct shots like in my other stuff where people are looking at the camera but for london fashion week i kind of wanted it to be a bit more 
reportage I kind like, of fly in the world. I, I just prefer that document. kind of style as well, man. That's much. Uh, yeah, like documentary, much, I suppose, much more fun in, in a way. And easier because yeah. you don't have to art direct. Um, oh, absolutely. Art directing yeah, just sucks. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, we'll both know from shooting uh, gigs, uh, you've got to work with what you've got. Yeah. You know, you don't really have a lot of room to work with lighting or posing. You've just got to, like, learn to make the angles work. So I think uh, if you're ever struggling uh, for how to do photography, try and shoot gigs. Try and shoot some gigs in some small venues. Because it will... Uh, wholeheartedly yeah. just don't... It will train you. Just don't be better at it than me because I can't really yeah, no. that. <laughs> remain shit but try it out you know what yeah. I, mean? I would encourage you to do it but uh, also just don't get better than me please. all these new kids with their fancy cameras anyway all we've done is talk about, about uh, London Fashion Week and not about this photo yeah compliment the photo yeah. say good things about it I like the photo it's cool man it's obviously really striking she looks a bit mental because she's at London Fashion Week obviously Yep. Uh, col- cool the colours are really cool is this a, just a Lightroom edit or do you do any Photoshop stuff in this as well Uh as much as I've started to do bits in Photoshop, all my edits, be it exposure, shower, all that sort of stuff, and colour is always done in Lightroom okay. because Lightroom is really easy to use and it's, it's much better yeah, than Photoshop. It's so much better than Photoshop. Photoshop can yeah. go take a flight and fuck to itself. Just try hard, frankly. try hard, mate. That's all it is. <laughs> but yeah, this is this was just um, Lightroom. I think recently, in the past year or two, um, I've downloaded some LUTs from LUT Find Me. Um, and so they'll provide like a kind of base grade, okay. kind of like yeah. a preset, um, yeah. which I've been applying I mean, to my phone just preset. to get that. In. Not kind of like a preset, it's a preset. Fuck, yeah. You're yeah, not sure. <laughs> not I mean, they're in different, they're there, in different there's, there's places. No, I have no so... problem with presets. They're a, they're a vital yeah. part of people's workflow. Like, it's not, it's not shitting on presets. It's just, you know, it is a preset. Um, yeah, but it gives me, I usually try and go for like a kind of orange and teal recently. So uh-huh. this is like, I, I put a bit of orange, you know, it may not come across in all the photos, but I usually yeah. start with that base and then work from there. Um, and yeah, this was like during the day, I think, what was that? It's like ISO 200, I think. Yeah, okay. I, um, I, was, that, yeah. Shooting, I was shooting on like a telephoto lens, it would have been my Tamron uh, 78300, um, which uh, I bought for like £200 once. I remember I was, I was working an office and I was like I was looking through gear as I always do and I'm like I could afford that lens and yeah. I just bought it and it's actually been pretty handy it's like an F Man, 4.5 but you Tamron's know. and Sigma's I think much, Sigma, better, oh, much better value for yeah. money we'll talk about some Sigma's, Sigma's later please, Sigma no please sponsor me I really want to sponsor <laughs> what's that you get photo. how much money <laughs> I have spent on Sigma glass give me something. it's worth it though it's oh, worth every penny yeah, absolutely I'll, I'll yeah. end up all Sigma in the end I think uh, but um, yeah um, that's why I'm, I'm I was so close. I'm actually before lockdown, uh, because one of the photos that will be coming up, uh, I used a certain lens which I want really badly. I was going to sell all my lenses <laughs> uh, just to get lens. that one lens. Yeah, that one. And I might shoot? still do it. I might still do it because like I've got lenses that cover all the focal ranges, yeah. but I'm like I don't really need them as much anymore, and I could just do this one lens. Yeah, you could. Um, but we can talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. but no, that's something just cool. My, my only critique i guess is there is a lot of headspace but i guess that's because of these two guys in the background that are blurred out and it would be weird to cut him off at the head so i can see yeah, why i, mean, I can see why you've done that and i think probably that was the correct choice but i yeah. think it may have or not it would have been cool i would have definitely filled the frame more with her i think uh unless there was yeah. a more interesting background but i can see why you've done that in in this case my bike Ultimately, I really like this. It's cool. I mean, it, it's cool that you've made a reportage shot look like an editorial look as well. That's not a, it's no easy feat. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's not. It's it's partly due to her as well. Uh, yeah. Because you know she knows what she's doing. She's even if she's not looking at me, she's yeah. still giving a good look to someone else. Full model, just, full model mode. Yeah, I'm just stealing their uh, stealing their shot. Um, <laughs> what is her? I've got her her Instagram. I don't think she posts oh. as much. It's uh, send you see. You know what? I'm going to send you it and you can just pop I'll put it, it in, the, the in the show notes or on the screen maybe I yeah. can do that because I'm that. not going to try and print them so. <laughs> uh, yeah. but yeah no it's a cool one man I like it okay yeah. let's move on to number two number which two. is of uh, Jay McDonald so this is this is cool My man dear, I am really like this one um, I love this I colours mean, are I, cool I'm, like, it feels yeah. very uh, it, it feels like a kind of Instagram kind of brand shot do you know what I mean like someone who's trying to sell that jacket yeah. no, I think that's your jacket isn't it so nobody's that is my jacket uh, that is that. a pre-mark 15 pound <laughs> jacket I fucking love that thing I bought it 
And I should have bought two of them because the next day I came in and they were gone. And I'm so scared because I think it's kind of cheap. I don't want to tear it because I yeah. fucking love that jacket. I feel like, uh, I don't know the last time I saw you that you weren't in that jacket, to be honest. Yeah, I, I love in that. Honestly, I lo- <laughs> I'm surprised. If if, it, if I didn't think it would be weird that I was wearing a jacket right now, I'd be wearing it. But, uh, you know, what yeah. you know. Well. But, yeah. That's just cool though, man. I really like it. Uh, colours are super cool. She's posed really well. Um, it's, mm. it's the the mix of materials, like the almost kind of latex they kind of top she's got on and then the kind of cagoule yeah. jacket is nice and that's a nice contrast, I think, with the kind of urban background. I guess the only thing mm-hmm. I'd say is a critique. Headspace. Is headspace. Headspace. <laughs> and there's not a huge amount of vibe in the background because it's so well lit. I don't think that's an issue, mm. to be honest. It's just I would have probably tried to do I probably would have vignetted it to Fox I like I like a vignette and I probably would have made that a bit uh, darker brought the highlights uh, down a wee bit um, mm, but I, uh, I really well, like this one it's, it's super cool was this just a this was is this a, a Lightroom and Photoshop job or just a Lightroom one this was Lightroom as always do all my edits in Lightroom I did a bit of retouching so, out Lightroom. Um, <laughs> so uh, I did she had a lot of hair uh, covering her forehead mm-hmm. which is kind of covering her eye Yeah, and I get really nitpicky with my photos so I'm like that's distracting me that mm-hmm. immediately yeah. like all I do is like look at details I'm like that's distracting me I need to fix it uh, did a bit of cloning and stuff it was horrific I was editing till 2 in the morning sent it to my friend and he was like that skin texture looks off because mm-hmm. I was trying to clone you know like underneath it we bit of clarity 100 by any chance Julian we bit I love a bit of clarity 100, uh, 100. I don't, that's not me anymore I don't do that <laughs> I'm, not that, I'm not that <laughs> guy days, anymore those days are behind me um, but I redid the edit did it yeah. more natural I actually found a way to replicate realistic skin texture oh, I think okay. I might have done it to this one um, but yeah this is so you're saying about the headspace yeah this is a this is, I did like a 6x7 crop to try and emulate a medium format camera because I like yeah okay I can see the, I can see that in it now that you're putting yeah. it out yeah but the actual like original crop for this uh, it's got much more room at the top because it's two by three, so there's way more room up there. Yeah. Um, I might keep it like this. I kind of like. I, like, I usually I obviously with Insta- yeah, really yeah I like the colors are important yeah, for me. Colors are great. That's my main thing. Tones are brilliant. Um, the the top, I, I think I might have seen it on her Instagram, or I was asking. No, she. I was doing a shoot with my friend Finn. I was helping him, and he was shooting Jade, and she was wearing that. And I thought that looks really cool, uh, and then before the shoot I was like well, send me some clothes you want to wear and we'll try and like figure out like outfits to do because mm-hmm. doing like portrait and fashion stuff now I'm like you know people do like two or three yeah. four outfits so but I thought this one was really good and I thought my jacket complimented yeah. it well so yeah, I was like cool, the jacket on and I like a, I like a high rise in the background just as a bit I like built I like nice buildings yeah you know I mean? no it's a nice it's a nice cool. bit of architecture but it, man. I really like it it is cool okay so we go to number three oh, yeah. What have we got next? I should know this. Oh, it's your boy. It's, uh, it's our it's our boy, uh, Josh Graham. So it's the boys. So this, this was shot on a, a thirty five Sigma one point four. I believe, Julian. I think it was a particularly, you, a particularly you know handsome that? Sigma thirty five one point four. I don't know where you could have possibly got it from. I yeah, I, I think I borrowed it off of some prick. Some prick um, guy. Nice, thank very... you, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's. You're not going to argue that. Uh, thank you no, so much. Not. Honestly. Um, Oh, Sigma 35, please, Sigma, please, I won't, just give me something. <laughs> this lens is so nice. It's brilliant. I love yeah, it, so I'll I sell it. all my gear to get it. It, <laughs> it focuses so fast. Um, it's just, yeah, I like, because I've got, uh, not to shit talk Andy, but uh, I think I traded him, he was, he gave me a 30mm lens, and I gave him a 50mm lens. Some mistake. I think he had a full frame, and we we're swapping it or whatever. That thing focuses so slowly. Uh, I appreciate I, it's one of my main lenses, but that thing never, like, never get one. Fifty man, what are you talking about? Also, yeah, thirty. What kind um, of focal length is thirty? I don't that? know. It's a Sigma thirty. Sigma they don't 30. even. You can hardly even. If you look up Sigma thirty, it's like a DH one point four. They never show it anymore because um, I think they're just like we don't do this why, lens why, anymore. Why would you? Pointless. Yeah. Uh, um. But no, this was so. This was a uh, Godier show. Yeah. They were doing a tour. Yeah, because um, you were a, you were photographing it. I was film. Was I, fi- I was filming it, wasn't I? You're filming and photographing. I was filming and photographing. Got some photos. I'm so yeah. talented, you know. Oh, yeah, such a such a dick. <laughs> uh, that by the way, that I don't think I've actually ever, I've said it to you properly. Mm. That video, oh, that video was fucking banging. Oh, thanks, man. man. That was really thanks. good. Like, I'll, I'll send you. I'll send um, you that money after. 
Yeah, give me that money. Um, but yeah, the lighting. Whoever, mm. The guy that did the lighting for this. Yeah, uh, smashed it. Killed spot it. On, honestly. So the best lighting I've ever... Like, out of the years of shooting gigs, the be- I think the best lighting I've ever seen was Enter Shikari at Alexandra Palace. Yeah, and that goes without saying, sense, eh? that's a huge fuck-off venue. Yeah. They're a huge band. This is the best lighting I've ever had for like a local show. Yeah, I was really good, honestly, man. I would, so good. I would probably second that, actually. Yeah, so colourful. And, you know, you know how much I hate uh, red at gigs but yeah. this I don't know why man I'm fine works, so well. red's fine I don't see what everybody's it just, it doesn't, just, just I think it's because I'm really bad at photos and I always go out <laughs> the skin when I'm shooting red I, mean, it's, I think it's me I mean, it's harder but like everybody's a bit, a bit yeah. tougher than red than I think they really need to be to be honest I think it's, it's fine yeah fuck red fuck if red play, if you um, play about the sliders and lightroom enough red's fine Oh my god, I just, sorry, this is a memory <laughs> coming back to me. I shot, uh, I think it was the first year I shot Tech Fest. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and there was a moment where I was like, I came back, I was editing the photos, I was already like three or four years into doing gig photography. Is that the year we were both and, there? Uh, I think, mm, I've been there twice. I was only down that I think one year be- with Frontier for like a day. No, yeah, Not it would have been that, I think it might have been that year. Um, but I got home, I was editing Lightroom and all that sort of stuff, and then I played about with the white balance set, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> and suddenly all these colours came out, and I went, oh, I should be setting my white yeah. balance properly. I um, and, um, had yeah, that recently colours, with uh, see the colour calibration panel at the very bottom of Lightroom. Oh, secret. I had to that, that for ages, secret. didn't yeah. really know what it was, and now... It's, uh, that's where all the colour comes from, honestly. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, my first it's great. But panel I use first off now. But no, I think it's just I cool, it was, um, uh, I like the shadows. Yeah. I like the contrast. I like the red. It's cool. I like the like the context. I think is probably what makes this because Godie are such an aggressive band. Big, like really, big, really aggressive. Uh, heavy yeah. death metal boys. Yeah. Like yeah, death metal soy boys. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, because they're all they're all veggie and are, know, oh, they're yeah. it's that it's that vegan band. They're all, that they're all on the right. They're all on the right side of history. Yeah, quite frankly. Yeah, no, they're doing it right. <laughs> um, um, but also, I just love that being a in a definite band, and you know, it doesn't really it, it doesn't really matter that much. But like Josh always yeah. dresses like he's not in a definite band. Not that you have to wear a certain thing, yeah, but absolutely. he's dressing how he would dress, and it is really good is. in a sea of like. Like black and stuff, you know, which isn't bad, but you know, it's good to see a bit of color. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, people being themselves. Yeah, something just cool, man. I say, I think context is what makes it. I think in its own, it's like, a, oh, this is a nice picture of somebody, but it's the, the context yeah, it's... of that moment of calm within the chaos of their music, I think, really makes it. It's more oh, yeah. like a see, full he's... story. I could see this being a really powerful image. Um, yeah, he does, a, he does a lot of screaming. Yeah. And it's very good. Very good, very good at that. And uh, it's, it, yeah, I think it's, it's a nice bit of calm in the middle of a storm, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's context context definitely would make this yeah I really like it though I think it's a, I think it's a really strong image uh, and it is it's, it's a, cool it, honestly it's all because of your lens well, that made it I didn't really. want to say that but now that you've said it I'll just wait yeah. does that mean you own some sort of copyright no no, nah, no, no, no that's fine no, no. it doesn't <laughs> it definitely doesn't good yeah no yeah definitely as long good. as you, as long good, you good, press good. the button it's yours that's, that's the copyright uh, okay let's okay. move on good to, to the next image which is my favourite I'm quite excited about this one so this is Scarlet Rando of Scarlet Rando well, really excellent, dear friend, Glasgow musician. Yeah. I guess a dear friend of yours. I don't think I've ever spoken to her. Uh, uh, yeah, I know her a bit. She's. I don't know. <laughs> I speak, to, speak to a lot of people. I'm an internet celebrity man. I'm oh, talk mate. people all the time. I honestly thank you for having me on and <laughs> for finding the time for me. <laughs> well, I know, know how busy I've, you can be. Now. I know I've got I've got a lot of time in my hands these days as it, as it happens. Yeah, um, I can imagine. But oh, this image is great, man. This this literally to me looks like a high end like pop star album campaign. If that came out and it was in. Just the press in general, but yeah, that's a that's a great press lock. How, how do I get my photos into the press? Someone tell me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, the colours are great. Tones really cool. Uh, I love I love the background and the contrast and that, and how it kind of ties into the colour around her eyes. Uh, styling's sick. I presume that's probably more to do with her than you. Not to not to take that away. From I you. do not need to tell her. <laughs> she looks cool already. One point. She's cool. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Like you know, but she no, does not need uh, my help with that. It's really cool, man. I, I love this thing. So has this one got a bit of Photoshop in it? Because I feel like it might do, given how pristine the whole thing is. It's So this is... It's got a bit of Photoshop, so it's actually a really nicely sharp, well-lighted image, which is rare for me, honestly. Don't know how I did it. It was a one-off. But um, So usually in Photoshop... Uh, oh, in Lightroom, first of all, I'll do my edits. 
and I, I used to, so last 2019, 2018, one of my graded units I was doing when I was shooting my HND was called Hue, where I shot a lot of people against the colour backgrounds in my room. I remember that, there's a lot of cool, cool images out of that then. Yeah, uh, you cannot find them online because I took them all off my Instagram because I got bored of them. Uh, they're really good photos. I'm like, yeah, I, I get really picky with mine. I know what it was. Uh, the very first photo I'd done, I put up on my Instagram, I'd fucked up the cropping for it uh, compared to the rest okay. of them and it really fucked me off. Yeah, but um, I, I shoot I shoot a lot of uh, people against just colour backgrounds. I love colour. That's my main drive. And um, this was in College City, Glasgow. Uh, and I'll usually um, do a little adjustment brush on the background, change the hue a bit if it's like, I think this might have been a bit more blue and I changed it to uh, a bit more purple and just brighten up maybe. And then in Photoshop, I did a bit of frequency separation, so a bit of skin retouching, okay. which, you know, I used to be a bit, oh, I don't want to retouch people. Um, and then I realised, it's not, ten, I'm not, I don't want to change people. Yeah. I don't want to change how people look, right? But if someone has a spot, that's you know yeah. that's not that's, that's not a Absolutely. defining feature of them that's I'm I was a skin day. very much the same and now my day job is in advertising so I don't really have the luxury to decide I'm not allowed to, no, to you retouch got, you things got to do that retouch. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't do it very much more now but, which is I have to say but I do do it at the, at the mm. day job for stuff gotta do what you gotta do you know sometimes uh, certain images require a certain yeah. look or a certain you know but um, yeah I didn't again not not as if I had to do much I literally just maybe uh, fix some of the skin tones uh, so they just gelled a bit more together again not a lot of work and then I sharpen the clothes so I just do a little sharp adjustment on the clothes sharpen the lips sharpen if she's wearing any jewellery so she's got you know the ear and she's got the nose yeah. ring sharpen the eyes and the eyebrows and then usually the hair although recently I've been kind of laying off the hair a bit because okay. then it can look a bit too bit too sharp yeah, so I, I know I'm mean. not even sure I feel like it might be a bit sharp on this one but um but yeah, that's that's pretty much just sharpening and then a bit of frequency separation to even out the skin a bit, and that's it. I don't, you know, I'm not yeah, this is changing kill, people's shape and stuff. It's killer image, man. There's no, there's no yeah. space around that. And infro grain over it as well, because yeah. I wish that I want that film look, but I don't yeah. want shit on film. Yeah, who's, who's got time on how to do that? Not me. Um, oh, so stressful, man. Yeah, and headspace on this is nice. This is the headspace I would use. So there you go. Yeah, go I think that's actually for this. <laughs> for this one. Because as, as I, I do like a lot of headspace at the top, I might have shot this landscape, maybe. And then you cropped um, it. This, is, this might be, I think this might be an 8x10 crop or 6x7, but... Yeah, I can see that actually looking thing, at it now. I can see how you would, you would line it up and that would, that would explain yeah, that Yeah, the crop. really good yeah. thing about coloured backgrounds is that if you shoot someone on a coloured background extend and it. you shoot with space around them, you can extend it easily. You can clone that uh, in. You you're, can a wee, that in. you're a wee Photoshop boy after all. After oh mate, I, I, I had to learn. You know, I got boy. there eventually. I told uh, I told one of my lecturers that I knew how to use Photoshop a lot, um, and then I had to go learn it. So <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, I've told so people I to like, use Photoshop, and like, that's that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most most of the time I learn how to do something in Photoshop is because I told someone I could do it I do. and then I have to go and quickly learn it so. spoiler alert for the photos coming up none of my photos have ever been in Photoshop for any reason whatsoever so there mm. we go some uh, people don't need it some people do okay, I fine. probably do need it I just don't have the inclination to learn because I'm so yeah. unbelievably arrogant <laughs> Yeah, you are. I know. I feel that. Don't get don't get me wrong. I feel that. What are you going to do? Uh, okay, let's have a look at your last one then. So last this one, one, this one to me, uh, immediately looks like your uh, your graded unit, Julian. Uh, I don't know if that is. You're happens so to the case. on the ball with this because <laughs> <laughs> this is my this is my first graded unit. This is an image from my yeah. first graded unit. That's cool, man. I like it. It, it, it does. Yeah. It, I guess the giveaway to me is it looks like it's got a textured background, which screams a bit of resource and studio. And also the kind of the visual metaphor of that kind of thing looks a lot like the kind of thing people do when they're exploring the kind of themes you're given for uh, for projects like that. So that's why it's not a critique on the quality of the image. The image looks great. No, you know, I was obviously, just it obviously does self. the job, yeah. but it does. Um, yeah. It, it, I, I did feel immediately like, oh, this looks like this was like a, a, a graded submission of some sort. Well, it is. So <laughs> you're again, your intuition is. So good, just arrogant prick. Uh, yeah. No, this is so. First of all, this is a black background. Uh, I shot it against a black background. I added a texture on the top of it mm -hmm. um, because fuck that. I have the money to buy fancy backgrounds for that <laughs> shit. 
Agreed. I can do it in Photoshop, probably, and I did. Uh, um, this, was, boy. this was from a series called... I think it was called Sacred to the Ghost Gods. I found a really cool Latin term, and I was like, fuck it. I want to do something like kind of creepy, kind of spooky. Yeah. But Guillermo del Toro, bit horror stuff, but not like cheesy cliche. I found a really cool term, so I was like, fuck it, we're going with that. And yeah, this photo was not uh, part of the, the intended plan. <laughs> this was the end of a shoot that I'd already done two shoots that I'd done a lot of makeup with. So uh, my friend Sadie Wheat, uh, who we pop up for there as well, uh, our Instagram, uh, is a really amazing makeup artist, does special effects and stuff. I think she's even got a degree in it as well. Like she's just, she's amazing. She was helping me do my photos. Uh, we're doing, uh, I'd done two photos of like stuff with crowns and like white makeup and stuff. Shot it against a black background that I'd borrowed from college because my backgrounds that I bought were all coloured ones because I was like, why would I shit against black? Yeah. Um a colourful boy. And then I was like, oh I need to do kind of spooky stuff, let me get some <laughs> let me get some black in there. Um and yes, yeah, so this is my friend Finn, uh who was in the year below me at Glasgow Kelvin and we bonded over good music, similar kind of photos that we liked and he's just we help each other out if we can, you know. Even just ha- just having someone shooting with you can be fun. Um, just to keep you company because yeah. photography is a fucking lonely job especially gig photography you know I think that was part of the fun was oh maybe I'll see Callum maybe I'll see Andy at the gig and then we won't speak to each other because we're shooting shout, 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 but, out, you know, shout Andy remember Andy used to do Andy do stuff. Mills Who's king he? of the live photo king of the live photo where's he these days don't know king of the fish eye king of the fish eye oh Boy, fish eye. Fish. I, I used I remember I used this fish eye once and I think it was manual focus and I totally fucked it. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah. I'm but not, yeah. Not a fish eye boy, it's not for me. He does yeah, cool like he I does cool stuff though. I'm gonna get him oh, on no, this he, at some point. Not that I've asked him oh, yet. Absolutely. This is you're on notice, Andy. When's the, last, when's the last time I seen it? Oh, it would have been Vasa. Vasa, it's last time I saw Vasa Vasa Vasa. Where it was just me working, yeah. you two just fucking gallivanting about. I'm the only one doing any work. If people ain't asking me to take photos, I ain't taking photos. Yeah, well, I was just there enjoying it. Niblock Niblock cornered me. Something else, I yeah, think. as he does, he does, yeah, He's a you should really report kind of that. Um, but anyway, yeah, this photo, yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> this photo, yeah, so I'd, I'd taken a bunch of photos of two other people, we'd done a bunch of shoots, and I was packing my stuff up. Finn was helping me pack up, I had like a black uh, bit of fabric there, mm-hmm. and I was, I just threw it over him. I was like, I just threw it over him, and he kind of assumed the pose, and I went, fuck that looks cool as shit. Like, I was like, oh, let's see, this would be funny if this would work, and it fucking worked. So, um, this was probably one of my, the original edit of this was in black and white, and I don't really do black and white anymore, and it was, it was a bit, it was a bit shit, but bringing, going back and re-editing this, bringing that colour out, letting it, you know, having that background be a bit kind of grey with the texture, I think it's a, an oil canvas texture or something that I put on, I can't remember. Um, and I kind of like elongated the body a bit, which you you probably can't tell as you don't you don't see the original. But I kind of made them a bit longer, so it's a bit weirder proportions. And it's just there. I don't know how. Just like there's so much red in it that came through, and his eyes are white. It's, it was just a happy coincidence that I capitalized on. So enjoy yeah, it no it's a cool image man I really like it I think the colour was the right choice I don't think this would work as well black and oh, white so, so totally I can't do black and white you know right. I, I, I don't do black and white because I can't they always turn out grey I'm really bad at a black and white edit just blow those highlights man blow those highlights yeah. blow those highlights crush those blacks that's all I do yeah oh, and then pump, pump the contrast that just reminds sorry this is, this is a slight tangent um, back when I used to like look at fucking f-stoppers and petapixel and stuff yeah. I seen someone post a thing that was like the, you know the term crushing blacks, right? Which is it's just a yeah. photography term. Someone who clearly hadn't heard it before thought it was a racial term. And I was just like, oh my God. Yeah, one of my friends thought that <laughs> when he watched one of my tutorial videos. And he was like, why do you keep saying crushing the blacks? Because they need to be crushed. Like, you know, that's what you got to do. That's, well, yeah. let's not go down yeah. this, is, this is getting dangerous. It's okay, I can say that. Anyway. Like, anyway, yeah. This... That's uh, it's five five killer photos, man. Yeah. Or, like, I think the one of Scarlet's my favourite. It is, it is really good. Somehow it's my But they're all, they're all great. Yeah, they're all they're all great, man. I was trying to find like I, a range because a lot of my photos are just color backgrounds. So I was like, let's try and <laughs> show my full capabilities. Yeah, man, Friday's good. Like you've obviously got an eye for it. I think the portrait game is where you really um, have kind of come to life, yeah. and you should definitely do more. I of mean, it. if any bands once, want to pay me, once to world do, affairs, the gig photos again. No, no, bands are mine. Ah, it's fine. You can, stay yeah. on my bit. You go do your bit. Yeah, I don't want to take your business yeah, away from me. You know, I could, but I <laughs> that, all that amazing all money that, I make off of bands. Oh, bands have so much money. You know, bands get paid so much, and then they have so much to give. Yeah. 
I know, right? Go buy a t-shirt, please, yeah, somebody. Go buy some, some fucking merch, man. Go buy some merch. Uh, okay, I guess we'll leave yours there. Oh. And we'll go open mine. Oh, let's look at yours. Let's look at let's mine. Let's criticize you. as well, actually. Yeah, let's go for it. Cool. Okay, cool. So, Julian, now it's time to look at me. Oh, you're going to get so, it. Let's go. You're going to get it now. Yeah, come on, give it to me. Um, give it to me. Give it to me hard. So let's see this. Julian, let's, come on. let's see this first one. Um, mm. Banshee, Banshee promo. Yeah. So this is a, it's a band promo. This was Andy Mills, who we were talking about earlier on, shot the video for their last lead single, Bubble. Mm. Good song. And I was on on hand to shoot stills behind the scenes and also do promos at the same time because there were going to be a lot of costume changes and we were in a studio anyway they were excellent broad scope studios Love, shout oh, out to them all that natural light uh, all that white walls yeah yeah exactly so what we did was I took them out into the corridor outside the studio <laughs> and uh, I shot this as one of the, one of the promos and I think it's probably one of my stronger uh, my stronger band promos but you can tell me what you think Julian that's what we're here for what do you think right well I hate to break it to you but uh, this uh-huh. is a good photo. <laughs> this is a good photo. Um, yeah, my one of my past lectures uh, has a studio in Broadscope. I've uh, also just again shout out to Andy Mills because him doing videos and like shout out Andy Mills, what a guy, yeah, what a guy, letting me shoot uh, behind the scenes stuff when he's doing videos got me a lot of good photos. Um, and yeah, Broadscope is is great. Um, and the natural light through this hall really helps the photo. The, yeah. Obviously, straight up, the colour, straight away, that orange suit. Or is it yeah. orange, yellow? Orange, yellow? Um, am I going to be colour blind? It, it's, it's a bit orange, or I, I played about with the tones mm. for the oranges, uh, obviously because Erin's hair colour as well, yeah. to get, make that a bit more vibrant in the HSL sliders, give it a bit more of a, a, bit more of a pump to it. Yeah, obviously, band promos... Um, how do I say it without saying the rest of the band's useless? Um, the the, the <laughs> vocalist is useless. Just in terms of how yeah. marketing works, the vocalist is usually front and centre, right? Exactly. So it's the nature of the beast. It's, it's not a... Um, it's good having her in front and having her in something colourful. Um, it just yeah. it, it immediately draws you in the photo. The photo is has got a nice sharpness to it. Although, obviously, the further back you go, it gets a bit, you know, yeah. tiny. But that's... Well, that's, I mean, that was shot at... Let me just double-check my notes, which I should have had open all this time. So that was, it was shot at the US R... Sigma 35, 1.4, that lens you borrowed from Oh, you me. shot it at 1.4? No, oh. no, I shot it at f4. All right, yeah, because I was going to say that's... But it's, on the one, it's on the 1.4, but it's on, it's on the f4. I mean, with the formation shot, like, you know, it yeah. eventually, you know, it's going to lose focus towards the back, that's, that's bound to happen, but yeah. it's not... Uh, as a, as one of my lecturers used to like to say, not everything has to be in focus. That's not focus. That's yeah. true. I'm I'm a big believer in that because yeah. I don't. I very rarely shoot above f4 if I can possibly avoid it. To be honest. Yeah. Like I really. I don't know why I like I've got such a field. phobia of going above f4 for some reason. Like, um, it sucks. Yeah. But um, no, I think it's really good. Obviously, like the blue trousers, the white and uh, blue pinstripe, and just which I think the the kind of cream suit is a bit yeah. left field, but. I think it works, mm-hmm. you know. I think that's yeah. Obviously, this is nothing like you're not telling them what to wear, but I think it no, just. No, I, I didn't art direct this. No, <laughs> but I think just the the composition is really nice. Like, there's a good bit of a uh, headroom at the top, um, because you know you got to have that room in above a photo. I think the yeah. the leading lines from the sides. So having the top and the bottom. Yeah, that was that was kind of key for me. I wanted to make sure I could line it up with that red girder. Yeah, it's like a a balance, and then have it. Force you to look down the band. That was the, that I just, was the principle. I really want to find yeah. something bad to say about the photo, but I can't do it. Um, <laughs> it is good. There's like, for me, there's like stupid little things where, like, see the bottom left on the wall. Yeah. There's like a little mark there. Yeah, there's marks and stuff. I would have taken yeah. that out, but that's because I'm just anal about it. It doesn't detract yeah. from the photo at all. Not get, not get the patience for that. Yeah. <laughs> stuff. But um, I think all in all, it's you know it's your standard formation shot. Everyone's got a good bit of space. I might have put them. I don't know, maybe a bit. You know, the your boy on the left is a bit closer in than the other two. Yeah. But um, it's a good promo shot. It's good. I can't fault it, honestly. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. It's all right. I'll find something bad okay. to say about something else. <laughs> Shall we go on to number two, then? Oh, great. Another good shot. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, uh, this is an example of a wedding portrait that I did. 
Uh, I guess the quick story behind this is originally we'd planned to do all these wedding portraits outside somewhere else and the weather turned against us so That's I had half plan. an hour <laughs> half an hour to go to a place oh. I'd never been and do all the portraits oh. uh, so it was a bit of a quick turnaround but I think it worked out quite well so you can let me know what you think of this Julian um, right where to start <laughs> the beginning I think the composition's good um, the fact that the couch isn't fully centred again these are little nitpicky things that yeah. like again there's nothing you can really unless you were like lugging the thing about but again I have yeah. I have shot one wedding in my lifetime and it was hell not that the people were making hell but it's so stressful yeah time, that, time is not on your yeah. side I didn't, I didn't have time to really art direct it it was more like this looks like it might be kind of yeah. cool just the pressure it. of someone's big day suddenly getting all your skills together and then being forced into a situation oh it's, yeah. it's commend- honestly I commend you on that you know fuck Thanks, you but man. also you did a good job but um <laughs> so yeah I think the the poses are good um the woman looking at the camera and him looking off is, is really nice um yeah. I think the the it's a bit tungsteny. obviously yeah. the lights are a bit I mean, that, that was yeah that's 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 a fair comment it was kind of deliberate like that I wanted that kind of warm uh, then yeah like, that, um, that works in thing. That all kind of looked to it, so it felt almost kind of film like. What color? Like, what color was the natural. walls? Where the walls? <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of greenish. Oh really? Kind of greenish. Then yeah, I think kinda, you did the right olive thing. Olive green. You did the right thing. Olive then. green kind of thing. Um, I think. Can't remember. Yeah, I think it's. Again, maybe a bit of per. It's definitely. I think it's pretty much straight. You know, the lines are straight. Maybe, yeah. maybe a bit of perspective. The windows maybe look like they're going off a little bit maybe there'll be again I don't yeah. know if it is or not but everything looks pretty straight so that's with when you have lots of lines in an image that's usually yeah. gets drawn to it but I don't particularly um, mess with lens correction too much beyond the basics so it's probably just slight barreling at the yeah. end of the 35 because this is in the 35 uh, 1.4 as well but I think if um, for some god forsaken reason I got married um, you know it's okay my girlfriend's never going to hear this um, please watch this um, <laughs> this is this is a great fall this is a great wedding fall oh That's here's it. something yeah okay the air freshener hit me with the it air freshener down at the bottom left ah oh, you son of a bitch I didn't even know that was there that's the first time I've seen that <laughs> it's one of the first things I've seen yeah you know, like, I should have cloned that out you're absolutely right because um, I do I do take a bit more time to clone and stuff like that yeah. in, a, in wedding portraits but no this is this is banging the symmetry of the tables and the chairs is great the posing is great um, it's a good yeah I think it's nicely exposed for the time especially for the time you're given you know great yeah good well done oh, thanks man Thanks. Give me something so, to, so good to, to be bad about, man. Okay, well let's go on to number number oh, three. Oh no, then. this is one of my favourite photos you've done. <laughs> <This is so laughs> good. Oh, Dan Stevenson, uh, the man. Peach. Dan Stevenson, Dan the man. Oh, That's Dan. Now that he lives up north in a farm or whatever. Oh, you yeah, fuck. Where's his? He lives like near Elgin or something. And I've, I've been, yeah, I've been in Elgin I, once. He's up in the wild. Oh, it's nasty. Um, up in the wild. Yeah. So, a black and white edit. Yes, so this was shot at Techfest, that same Techfest we were both at, we were talking about earlier on, uh, in the van where they were they were warming up, on the old, uh, the old plastic fantastic, 50 mil, 1.8. Cannot go wrong. Nah, man, cannot. Although, I, I know I said I always liked to shoot F4, I just shot F11. Ooh, F11 inside? it was so bright. Nah, it's inside the van, the door's open. Oh, okay, oh, right, okay. The doors on to the left. That's why you've got that nice light. Oh. That nice light. Yeah, that's why the nice light's coming down his face. Because the, the other side of the van windows are tinted, obviously, so there's not much light. And then the light's just coming in through the door. Again, like... So did you make the decision to open the door to get all the light in? No, it was already open. I, I was just sitting... Mate, I was sitting chatting to the other guy in the van. I think while Dan was warming up, and I just turned round and took the photo. You should have just said you were doing it. Because I'd have made it. Uh, no, again... Yeah, but it's not, it's not how it worked, Julian. It's not how it worked. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm full of integrity. You know what you captured? Can't can't tell a lie. Yeah, integrity. That's what you run off of. Uh, <laughs> honestly, like, cause I I need to try and get better at doing uh, shooting outside and using natural light. This is so good. Yeah. The fall off is perfect. You know, it kind of starts like you know the nose is very defined and it falls off. You can still see um, his yeah. left shoulder. Um, the guitar is perfectly lit. His face is lit. It's it's such a good fall, man. 
it's, it's big Dan's a lit guy. Yeah, like it's hard to take a bad photo of him. In fact, I think <laughs> one of the first I've never taken a bad photo of Dan. Yeah, ever. I think one of the first big gigs I ever shot was Glasgow Tech Fest uh, in audio. This was this was a very long time ago, um, and he was playing with his old band Mountains Under Oceans. That's the yeah. one. Um, and I had you know some of the best photos I took was of Dan because he has. He, obviously, this great is this is an great stage presence. He has such a great stage presence. He's not on stage right now, and he's still is, you know, serving a really yeah. good look here. Still like, killing it. Um, yeah. Again, this is a really nice black and white edit. Um, I just Thanks, don't. Man. I think it's. I think the key to a good black and white edit is the is the amount of light, which I never have. Um, but yeah, I think the. So much, man. I, if, if you if you play about with contrast blacks. And the highlights you'll get to a nice black and white edit in the end. That's that's all I ever really do with black See, and white. It's just kind of those three I things. I never put contrast in my photos. I think the that only contrast. I immediately turn the, <laughs> the tone curve to strong contrast. It's one of the first things I do with every photo. That makes sense. Strong contrast, everything. <coughs> More contrast. But I think the and then sometimes I do that and increase the contrast oh. anyway. Steady then. You might as well put the clarity up to hundred as well. No, never <laughs> clarity. Clarity never goes above ten, mate. I've actually started to put the clarity to minus 10. Why? You used to literally put it to I 100. I used to put it to 100, and then I used to Why? put it to like 10 to 20, and now I'll do a texture at 10, a clarity at minus 10, and a dehaze at minus 10. I do like 10. a texture. Texture's a good tool. Yeah. When I had that at the 10, this photo was taken, but uh, yeah. yeah. No, I really like so, man. I think it's two to 10 is one of my better. The uh, composition is so good. Candids. Like, you know. Yeah, pure, pure luck. I was literally just sitting across from. Like, I can't pretend I put a lot of thought in this. This was just in the moment. Well, you know, this looks cool. It's, your, it it's your intuition to capture it the way you did, even if it was just. It is. Well, it is it's, it's banging. It's good. Um, I mean, I hate That's it. It's shite. Uh, you're a bad photographer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, I'm a bad photographer. That's not. It's not. No word of a lie. Okay, let's go on to number four. Another musician portrait, shockingly. This is uh, my friend Martin, who plays in a really interesting kind of ambient soundscape kind of band Ooh. called Luthia who are really cool they just put out an amazing film that everybody should go watch I'll put a link to that in the show notes as well oh I need to check show that notes. out it's not a podcast thing I don't have show notes I'm not a show stick it uh, there, yeah I know what, what do you think of this one Julian okay so <laughs> um, it's a good photo it's a good yeah the light is really annoying me see that light to the right. Yeah. That, yeah, that I could have cloned out or cropped out really easily. So yeah, I, feel, I don't know why I didn't do that. I feel like composition wise that there's so obviously you've taken he's looking to his left, he's looking to camera yeah. right. Um, and it's good to have a lot of space to the right of that. Um to show the yeah. direction because it kinda just it just ties in. I feel like that it's cut too much on the left. Yeah, um, I, can, I can take that. But I would probably agree with that in retrospect. I wouldn't move him more centre. I would just make more space on the left. But yeah, um, has this got has this got a bit of grain on it? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this was shot at half past eight at night outside. No way. Uh huh. Shot at f one point four. It's the best aperture. on the EOS R at round about. I think this is about sixty four hundred something like that. Well, here's the thing. I thought this was. I thought you added green, and it was a nice, like, kind of no, texture. No, it's that. It's it's all natural. It's all natural noise. It looks. From it it. Looks, and it looks shot at, like eight o'clock at night. Uh, well, because that was kind of what I wanted from it. Was I wanted it to have like that kind of pushed film speed kind of look by literally pushing pushing the film speed. Honestly, um, the the and the image itself. It's the eyes. It's pretty sharp for one point. Here's the thing. It's so. It is very nicely sharp. It's weird that it's so sharp yet so blurry. Like got that really nice bokeh in the background. Yeah. Um, Sigma lenses, mate. Sigma art Sigma. lenses for life. Sigma are great. Don't you just love Sigma? Yeah. I love Sigma. Yeah. Give me Sigma. Stuff. We love. <laughs> um, yeah, I think honestly the only critique I could have of this photo, the only two critiques is the light on the right. And more space on the yeah. left. Other than that, it looks like a very nice. Both of which are fair. It looks like a very nice film shot. Yeah. Um, and the sp- you, the fact that you've given them space on the right is this is a good um, photo. It's not necessarily a rule, but if someone's looking in yeah. the direction, 
give them space in that direction. It's just a good composition. Yeah. As you thing. say, it's rule of thirds, and uh, because you are a learned mm. and schooled photographer, you know these things, and because I am an idiot who just picked up a camera one day, don't pay any attention to things like that. I just take pictures. Here's the thing, right? Uh, for better or for worse. And this is this is an example. This is kind of why I put this in, because yeah. I I too felt those things, and it was kind of an example of, at first glance, this photo was is nice and it's cool because of how low light it was, etc. Mm. But there are obviously things that could be done to improve this. But it's good. Uh, quite significantly, I think. But here's the thing, right? Okay. So I don't... As much as... I feel like... I don't want to undersell the the great teaching that I've been given to my HND, mm. right? But I can comfortably say I've learned a majority of the stuff I've done through shooting. Through shooting gigs. Exactly. As you learn no, lighting. No substitute. You learn competition. No substitute for low light in shitty videos yeah. but, the, but honestly the internet YouTube there's so many good yeah. uh, off the top of my head like Flairn is a really good uh, YouTube channel mm. and website that can teach you how to do good edit and stuff like you can learn everything you need but you need to actually go out and do it because as yes, much as 100%. teaching uh, like getting a, an actual education can help unless you're out shooting there which you would be anyway you know I feel yeah. like we we got lucky maybe going the route that we did that you know we learned the hard way and yeah, we build up well, from there. what other people consider low light, we think of as all the light in the world. Oh, so much. Yeah, there, there's been times where, uh, and I think a lot, not to not to make it an us versus them, but a lot of the photos, because we were in that uh, UK photo clan group thing, mm-hmm. and a lot of yeah. the like uh, photographers in England, they have really good uh, venues that have, you know, them you shoot in big gigs, they have a lot of light, and I feel like in Glasgow... Yeah. Not to not to undersell Glasgow, not, but not that many choices. Yeah, but the the lighting can yeah. sometimes be a bit, unless it's the big, you know, God, O two A B C, you know, rest rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, some of the lower venues again, the lighting isn't for us, right? The lighting's mood no. for the band. We're just exactly. having to work with it. So it's, I'm complaining about something that's not really a problem, but um, yeah, there'll be times where people would be shooting gigs. I'm like, oh my god, you have so much light in that. Like, you're, that's so nice. Like, but you you just got to do what you got to do, and you learn. Exactly. I agree yeah. totally, man. Okay, let's go on to the last one then. Okay, so this is my friend Michaela Steele. I shot her eh, as part of my a series of Awkward Poses exhibition that I did at the end of 2016. Was that 2016? Eh, 2016 oh. I did that, yeah. Got, got actual money. Money Jeez. off somebody to take photos. What's that like? And eh, It was pretty good, man. We'll get any money since. Yeah, <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> but it was, it was cool. Somebody gave me money to like print my pictures and big bits of metal and hang them up in a place, and people came and drank wine. Oh, you got them done on metal? Mainly, I, mainly yeah, oh. mainly I drank wine, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it was really obnoxious to everybody. It was great. Um, and uh, yeah, so this, is, this is one of the, the images I've heard. The, the exhibition project was about um, documenting creatives doing their craft. Mm. Uh, and So I just photographed bunch of creatives doing stuff and they did a wee video interview with them so that could be in the digital version which is still up yeah is there anywhere yeah, where I'll we can the URL for that. anywhere we can see that yeah, yeah. series of awkward poses.com <laughs> oh it's actually um, a whole website still that you've still got up. yeah yeah it was a digital exhibition and a physical one yeah. so the you had to experience both to get the full full thing that was the idea anyway so I convinced them to give me some money yeah get that money however you <laughs> can got all this bits of Scott it must, must be worth something yeah absolutely um, yeah and hers was about more kind of physical expression and yoga and dance etc and that mm. so we went down to down to the riverside to uh, to do some mad photos and this is one of the ones i really like from that whereabouts is it shot lunderson bay i don't know what the fuck i don't know where that is so the river, river clyde mate down down near the down near the mouth river clyde never heard of it <laughs> nah um first thing very first thing i noticed yeah it's not straight nah it's not straight it's not straight it's close to straight that nah. is like you have a very clear horizon line yeah. and it's slightly askew. Yeah, it's slightly askew. You're quite right. Is that intentional? Do you know why? Because what well, what I tried to do is when I straightened it, I actually straightened it so that she was entirely straight. Mm-hmm. Like she's pretty built upright, but the horizon isn't as a result. Yeah. And I'm too lazy to do multiple perspective kind of things. I just went, I want her to be straight, got her straight. End, yeah. end of straightening. I wonder. I also I shot these like three days before the exhibition was due, so like. Oh, that sounds like me. There was not. That sounds like is that. There wasn't a lot of time. All my work. Everybody else was done in plenty of time. It was just Michaela. Um, I couldn't get a hold of her till much closer to the time, unfortunately. Yeah, sometimes you know, through no no fault of any people, sometimes when you're trying to shoot. Exactly. Stuff, yeah. 
it may be last minute and you know you got to rely on your absolutely rely on your skills at that point um but yeah so this is a very sharp photo um for mm-hmm. a second there i did you know, this was shot on as well what 50 millimeter 1.8 plastic fantastic it's fantastic for a reason honestly it doesn't you don't need to buy an expensive lens no. You want good glass, but also just glass works. You know, it may not even just, be glass. Just buy, just buy, just buy a fifty mil one point eight. Yeah. No matter what camera body you have, and you'll be laughing. Some of my favorite photos I've ever seen people do were literally just on a 50, 1.8. Like you yeah. don't, easy. You know, Aye. it's not the gear. I mean, it's the gear, but it's not always the gear. <laughs> um, oh, the gear, no idea. But I seen. So I was, I was just looking at this. I went, "What's that on her foot?" And I'm like, "Obviously, it's sand, but it's really sharp." Yeah. It's just mm-hmm. that I'm um, the fact that like from top to bottom she's sharp it's just I don't understand it it's, it's really nice uh, this was shot at F4 I believe okay um, just double check my notes I'm pretty sure it was F4 yeah I think uh, it's yeah F4 it's again it's the sky is not blown out which is something that's really hard yep. to do when you're trying to focus on yeah the ISO was pretty low and the shirt, shirt speed was relatively high mm. and then it was at F4 because I wanted to make sure I could get the, the details and the clouds once I exposed it yeah but um, yeah, nice colours. I like the colours. The again, the only, I think the only thing I can really fault is the horizon line just being a bit yeah, squint. It's not straight. Other than that, it's not even close to straight. I think it's only again that was the thing I cared. Let see now, mm. now I would take the extra time to do that. But this, this is from twenty sixteen, and part of why I put a couple of old ones in here as well. Yeah. Was to demonstrate that like you, you look at things differently. You got to show the progression. And there is, there, and there is an evolution. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, I just went back and edited them because I always edit my old photos. Um, yeah, I have, I have reworked, I reworked one of the other ones in Michaela for one of my other yeah. videos, which you could probably find somewhere. I'll put one of those wee cars in or something. Yeah. I know all about YouTube. I mean, if you like, yeah. if you want a bit of extra work, I could throw, I could send you over some of the old edits to the photo, the two or three of the photos, and you can see how bad they were. But you know. Um, <laughs> this yeah I like it I like it it's good the I don't know I'm not other than the horizon line it's just a good photo I'm not good at critique you know what I mean like it's just it's a cool it's a cool pose you know it's a good shape um, yeah she looks cool you know she, um, sometimes that's yeah. all you need is someone that looks cool but I think maybe 10 times out of 10 that's all you need yeah like me again something I've been doing recently is noticing uh, hair if it's getting in front of people yeah but i don't think it's a i don't think it's an issue here given the circumstance given the sort of it's outside yeah. you'd expect it to be kind of windy night anyway if, it kind of plays into if, it but i take your point yeah if i was really patient or knew how to work photoshop maybe i would i, th- maybe I think I, would it, do that. I think it works for this because you're outside at a beach it makes sense that it's windy you know it, it sells yeah. the image more if everything was like if our hair was like pristine and everything there, there was no like wind or anything like you know it'd, it'd be, if there was no sand on the foot you know it would look it wouldn't be it wouldn't be real like the fo- like the fact that you can see yeah. like footsteps or like in the yeah. sand you know it's all is real like and I wanted to make sure that there was texture across the whole yeah. image so like you can still see the you can see the waves rippling they're sharp the sand sharp the the sand on her so I wanted it to feel like there's a range of yeah. textures in this that's kind of why we went outside to get that sense of scale and texture the background as well just that little seen land again but just in the mist and oh. it just kind of fades away into oh. the mist yeah so good. I should get out more I should take photos outside a bit more. <laughs> if only if only that was possible yeah just now. I'm just going to yeah. step outside <laughs> no I know um, but yeah no I think well, uh, it's a good it's a good pose it's a good pose it's yeah. it's got the exposure's good the colours are good the edit's nice just fucking fix the horizon because it's yeah it's yeah. fair but no so we should all do fix up Refi- rethink our horizons. Yeah. That's what we should all do. New horizons. On a that, on that, on that, uh, on that deep note. Oh. Uh, thanks so much for for doing this, Julian. It was real, really fun to hear what you thought about my photos and get to tell you how good think, yours yeah, are. Yeah, thank you. I, think, I really need. I, I think I need that confidence. I think you need that a bit. I think you should be, you should be prouder of your photos than you are. To be honest, man, you you, you undersell yourself a lot, and I hope, yeah. I hope this exercise maybe uh, helps you realise that you were doing that Honest, and that you should yeah. do more things honestly when you when you told me about this and were asking me to find photos it did make and again I as someone who just sits at the computer and edits their photos over and over well, not over and over again but like yeah. re does their photos I don't always properly evaluate the photos and mm-hmm. when you asked me to do this I was like right so what do I think would be a good range for me that isn't all the same and it did make me kind of just like look at my photos see what I do 
because I don't, I don't generally think of how I do my stuff. I just kind of instinctively yeah. do it, and it's good to sit down and evaluate yourself. And also, it's really important to get feedback from people. And it, you know, not not just people saying your shit, but like people can say, <laughs> it's like, people can say like you know, critiques, good critique, is people letting you know if you know, and it's it can just be opinion, Absolutely. but you know, it's important. I feel like when I was in my H and C and H and D, no one wanted to say bad things about other people's images because you're spending the next two years with those people and you don't want to say, yeah. oh, well, you could have done this and you could have done that. But photography, we need to be helpful. I'll tell you, people. if you. Yeah, people ever get to work for an agency, listen to your creative director because your creative director will make you rethink everything you thought you knew. It can hurt, it can hurt as well not. at first. But it's helped me a lot yeah. having a really a really talented creative director who does not settle for my bullshit. Oh, absolutely. Um, I love someone that will cut through it, you know? Yeah. Because I will bullshit until I get as much as I, I can. Would, wish you would let me just keep it. Wish you would just let me keep a contrast up a bit more, though. You know? Just. Anyway. <laughs> cool. Just sneak That's it in there. Just sneak thing. it in there. I know. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. That's not true. He was probably watching this. It's not true. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, definitely not. Never done that. Never. Uh, Thanks thanks again, Julian. No problem. Thanks for having me on. Uh, And maybe we'll do something else some other time. Who knows? Oh, don't ever talk to me again. I don't want to be seen (laughs) now. No, yeah, it'll be good. We should uh, should do more stuff. We should. And then we never spoke to each other again. (laughs) (laughs) Bye. Thanks, man. See you. Bye.